Hey there, how's it going? Charles with CE Snyder Marketing LLC, and this is the next episode of My Personal Brand. And I've been thinking a lot lately about my vision and everything that I talked about in creating my future. Yeah, I had to look it up <laughs> because I got so much stuff going on in my mind. Yesterday, I was in uh, a training session for uh, basically working on like ads and stuff like that. So I was in this workshop all day yesterday, spent ridiculous amount of money to do it. But man, is my freaking mind blown. There was some, a lot of great stuff coming out of that. And uh, just like the level of creativity that like my mentor brings to the table and his whole team and working with these guys. It's just like, I come out of that and I'm like a babbling idiot. So <laughs> that's why I didn't post anything yesterday because I was in that training all day yesterday. It was all, all afternoon workshop is like four, maybe five hours long. Didn't get a whole lot of anything else done, but I did get, the article written, so now I'm making the video quick so I can get that published. Let me back up a little bit and just share a story with you. Last week, I got into a debate, if you will, with a so-called marketing guru on Facebook. He made a statement, which is massive action is useless unless you have this one thing. What is it? I answered, and I gave a single I gave a single word response, sales. And that turned into a whole debate. And I'll, I'll spare you the majority of it, but basically this guy was saying, you have to have vision, you got to have a plan, you got to have clarity, or nothing else matters. And literally that made me scratch my head because I was like, yeah, planning and vision and stuff like that is all good, especially when you go to market, knowing who you're going to market to, knowing who your customer is. But if you don't make sales, you have an expensive hobby. And this guy, he, you know, <laughs> it started to downgrade. And I was like, I, I'm not going to get like drawn into this. Uh, mess because the problem is wrestling with a pig is number one they like it number two they love the mud and number three you got to lower yourself you got to get dirty in order to do it so i just kind of like extracted myself from that whole conversation but essentially what he was saying is and i'm paraphrasing here to help you understand it but basically his premise was if you have a clear idea that your car won't start you will somehow magically develop the skills to fix it which is complete and utter nonsense <laughs> he's dead wrong and here's why i believe in stats numbers figures you know stuff like that because People lie, and a lot of internet gurus will mislead you. Some of them do it intentionally. Some of them do it because they don't have the proper information. But this is a statistic that's available from the Small Business Administration. 66% of all businesses fail because, and the number one reason is a lack of sales. Having visions and magically fixing your car was not even anywhere on the list. Sales is number one, not having enough sales, not getting enough customers coming in through the door, not enough income. Without income, you have an expensive hobby. I've had that conversation a couple of times before, but. And this, and this is why I really hate to be associated with the vast majority of the internet gurus because they're, 
forgive the expression, are full of shit. And that's why I don't want to be associated with them because what I'm talking about, marketing and sales, is what every company needs. Everybody needs to sell. Everybody. Doesn't matter what your business is. If you can't sell, you ain't got a business. You got you got an expensive hobby. <laughs> and you know, I, I think I already said that once, but anyway. I try to different different. I try to differentiate myself and my agency from these gurus by demonstrating value up front. That's why I create these videos, the, uh, the, my personal brand videos, the one minute marketing videos, the Charles Snyder raw videos, the five minutes with Charles videos, the marketing case studies, why I do what I do and on and on and on. And I'm starting to add to our train your brain series as well. I'm demonstrating value first. Unlike the vast majority of gurus. But anyway, that's my whole thing today is you know, <clears throat> I'm separating myself from that crowd. You do need vision. You do need to have some kind of vision. You need to have some kind of clarity as to who your customer is in order to effectively market to them. And you have to have some skill, sales skills. And I just shared in uh, the Marketing Ninja Group today my three secrets for making a sale. Be friendly. Be confident. That's number one. Number two is ask a lot of relevant questions. And number three, shut your pie hole. Shut my pie hole. That's my secrets to making a sale. Having a conversation, being friendly and courteous, kind, confident, believing in what I do, asking relevant questions more than I'm talking or telling, and then letting them talk, letting them tell me what their pain points are. Those are my three secrets. So instead of the typical blah, 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 and rah, 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 look at me like most marketers do, and then they turn around and say, well, you know, just Google it if you can't figure something out. Not much of a guru, guru if you're having your following Google how to do something. That's why I do what I do. That's why I do things the way I do it. So that it entertains, it educates, and it empowers you to do it yourself, to have a better business and to have a better life. Or you can follow Mr. Magical Vision and end up having to Google me to learn how to do it, learn something useful. Anyway, <laughs> that does it for me. I'm out of here. Love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs>